Thank you guys for tuning in. I've been pretty busy lately with work and spending a fair amount of time in the field. So I haven't been able to post many updates, but what I wanna do is share a lesson from the field the other day. And so that day I was in the field, I was testing with the Inspire One, the drone pan app that I've been working on. And I have direct line of sight with the Inspire One as well as FPV going on the iPad. And so I hear someone pull up next to me and I hear, sir, I'm gonna need you to land your drone. So, you know, I didn't want to break eye contact with the Inspire One, but I looked over and I saw the deputy there. And so I said, actually, do you mind if I finish what I'm doing? Because Drone Pan was actually running and doing a panorama. And he said, no, I need you to land your drone right now. So I landed it. He asked for my ID, went back and ran it. And that's what you see in the photo. Then he came back and handed me a card that had government code 423 on it which are some of the Texas guidelines for UAS operation. I'll put a link to those below. They're actually not too strict and it's really all about intent, what you're doing with the photos or video that you're taking in the air. Obviously, I wasn't trying to do anything malicious. I was trying to test the panorama application. So the good news was I'm very familiar with the Texas regulations as well as FAA. I try to keep up to date on that. I'm not saying by any means I'm an attorney or an expert, but I do know when I'm in violation of any of these guidelines. So his job was to come tell me and educate me on the guidelines. I let him know that I'm very familiar with them and I wasn't out there doing anything malicious. Now, we all know that there are guys that fly way beyond line of sight way above 400 feet into the thousands of feet and I don't want to be that guy and I ultimately don't want to be punished because somebody is doing that. So I just wanted to share that. Make sure you look at your local regulations as well as the FAA guidelines. Be well versed so when these guys come up to you at the field, because they will, we know it's going to happen. There's so many people doing just crazy things with their drones. So let's all just focus on being educated, having an intellectual conversation with a law enforcement officer, a firefighter, city official, anyone that may come up and question what you're doing. So I just wanted to share that. This was a young guy that came up. He's probably hearing this from the top down. Definitely not trying to harass me. So we had a good conversation and ultimately I don't think he'll be back to bother me anymore. So if you guys have run into a similar situation or have any thoughts, comments, please share them below. So thank you for tuning in. I'll be posting a lot more about PixHawk and mapping as well as the Inspire One Drone Pan Panorama app. Until next time, thanks for watching.